I do and my specialty is helping people with their labels and, and their brands and stuff like that. Especially because a lot of the music business now is so DIY, you kind of have to pick it up. So, you know, signing to a label, the pros, you know, obviously raises your profile, right? You get on Dirty Bird, you get on Ultra, you get on whatever that, you know, they, they, they got the budgets behind you. They got, you know, they're going to push you. They're going to profile you. are going to raise your exposure instantly. You're one song away. Just put music out there. You know, you're one song away. Literally, it's like you just put it out there, put it out there. Even if you're four followers, put it out there. Maybe it'll get to 40. If you're at 400, maybe it gets to 500. Um, the idea is just put stuff out there, period, because that's the only way people are ever gonna listen to your art. So self-distributing is the easiest, fastest way to do it. There's no barrier to entry, there's nothing. You just pay the money and it gets on all the platforms. You decide everything, you know, um, who's gonna master you, what's the artwork gonna look like, what's the logo gonna look like, you get everything. I um, mean, you really get your own brand. And, you know, I'd say a lot of times that there's very few now successful record labels, but there's a lot of successful brands. A lot of artists and DJs and labels, they just focus on the music and the sound and just make it sound good. And if it's good, people are gonna, gonna listen to it. But people really do only, you know, before they play, they have to look at that thing. They can't, they, they, they have to look at that image. Um, so I think it's important to kind of at least have something that's more than just a, a simple, you know, something that's a little bit attractive. What makes you, who are you, what is your product, and what is your target market? You know, you're like, I'm a techno producer, well, or I'm a techno DJ, right? Well, there's a million of them. What makes you different? If you can do one track a month, that's ideal. Do one every other month, that's great. Because you're gonna put that record out, and if you don't have another record signed, you're gonna have to go through all that process. So get, get a cohesive, get five records, figure out what that is, space them out, and then, um, and then put them out. These, there's so many other ways that you can generate revenue in merchant stream. So, you know, you can do engineering sessions, you can make videos, you know, you can perform, you can do remixes for people, you can sell merchandise, t-shirts, put your music on other labels, put it on other own labels, license it to a TV show. There's a lot of different ways to make money in this business. You know what I mean? So you, it's not just, just one way. And, and most successful people will find the other ways to do it. So think of yourself as the center of the spoke, and then you can do it uh, elsewhere. If you're an aspiring music producer looking for that breakthrough moment to evolve your sound, check out our online mentorship network at puramind.com.